Io che stavo tipo in intro here and what's that behind me you say? This is a brand new map I'm making. And I, I know I, I've been starting many projects, but I I, I, I I will finish this, okay? Don't worry. I'm not gonna leave this be. Because I actually care about this map. I wanna do it really well. I want this to be like one of the best maps I've ever made. I'm trying to make the commands the best that I could. Anyway, I, I, I wanna talk about what the map is about. So I am gonna show you what I've done so far and then how I did it and then I'm gonna talk about what this map is inspired from. So as you can see I created this little cool area as you can see and then you can start the map and it will say this is Steve and you would say oh that's cool this is Steve. Also you can see this, uh, I don't know if the texture will remain, maybe I will do some a few tweaks to it but as you can see this is Steve, next and then it says and this is a tree, yeah of course of course. And then it says Steve. I, I cannot. Okay, Steve. St Steve would love to break the tree, but he's a noob. And you, you cannot see. He's a noob. And so you press it again. It says you need to guide him so he can reach his goal. And you can see he going and destroying the tree. Look at look at him. It's so, it's so cute. I actually activated sound so you can hear him. Look at look at him. So so cute. But anyway, when you do next again, it's gonna say level one, getting wood. Steve's adventure just began. At the beginning of every Minecraft adventure, there's a tree. It's your job to guide him to it. So as you can see, that we have forward and destroy, and then we have a button that says play. So the, okay. So when you press on forward first, it's gonna say plus forward, and then when you do play, as you can see, it's gonna go here, and then you can stop him afterwards. Oh yeah, I forgot, you have to be in game mode 2 for this, so if people cheat, they're gonna basically break the map. Alright, so we can get let it go like 3 forward and then play, and as you can see, we'll go all the way to here. But our objective is basically to do 4 forward and then do destroy, so it's gonna break the tree. So we do play, and as you can see, it will go slowly but surely, and it's gonna break the tree, and it's gonna say level 2, time to buy, and I didn't make it yet, uh, I didn't make it yet, so there is no TP, but it's gonna be something like this. And this time it's gonna try to reach the goal. So now this may seem really simple, okay? But y you know, it it's kinda it's kinda tough to reproduce it to do. Like I I'm gonna show you the commands for this and, and I'm gonna try my best to explain them because I'm not that good at explaining commands. Okay, first of all, all of this is pretty simple, okay? This is the startup. When you go on the pressure plate, uh, it's basically gonna do all of the fancy stuff, uh, particles, and also what's gonna do is gonna activate this line. Basically, what this does is it will detect if you dropped uh, the next button, and if you did, then it's gonna add a score to your scoreboard. And basically, I did that if the score is 1, it's gonna say this is Steve. If the score is 2, it's gonna say this is a 3. And I did all of, all of that stuff. That is nothing really complicated, it's just, you know, some normal logic thing. And when, when it reaches the end, you basically go here and it starts the first level. Now, what's get, uh, what gets interesting is here. Now, this is just a test part, okay? But if I summon, sorry, an armor stand, and uh, at this coordinates, and this armor stand needs to have the tag Steve. Then, if I do that, as you can see, you will see this armor stand moving. Basically, it moves in this track. So, and this track is created by these blocks right here. So, I could like continue the track and do something like that. Oh my gosh, it's gonna catch up. It's gonna catch up to me. I really do. Oh, we did it in time. Look at us. Look at us continue the track. So, as you can see, it's gonna go. All uh, his merry way through the track. So, um, what you need to do also is we're gonna put this a little bit upper so you can see it. Uh, Steve and I'm gonna do no gravity so it's not gonna fall to the ground. And it will always go at this Y, okay? It will always detect for a block at a, at a certain Y because maybe the Y of the armor set can change but not, you know, this. Now, this Y is divided in three levels, okay? I'm gonna show you the three levels here. So, the middle le level is basically the one that controls the movement, as you saw right here. The down level controls the facing. So, as you can see, uh, the armor set will be facing this direction while they, while they are on this block, okay? So the, the lower tier, I, I could say, controls the facing. Instead, the top controls uh, what the player actually does, what the Steve actually does. And in this case, as you can see, this is the destroy. So basically, it's gonna destroy a block in this direction. I'm gonna show you here, okay? So this is the reason I put it a little bit upper. If I basically uh, do something like, uh, like this, okay? When I go right here, we're gonna wait. Wait, what? Why is there? 
Where it, okay, okay. There are spawns just because I used war dead it, I forgot about it. <laughs> but anyways, okay, we're gonna go like here, okay? You're gonna see that now it's gonna also while he's walking, it's gonna break the blocks in that direction. And after he does, it's gonna actually set the block to sponge. So it's not gonna repeat always. Also, as you can see, uh well oh, oh well <laughs> okay, uh when he goes here it's gonna change his facing. But if we remove that, now it's gonna see he's not gonna change his facing, right? it's gonna face always to this direction. You may say Nico, why is that? Why can't you just detect in what direction he's going and then make his facing? So basically you, you have to think about how the map will be structured. So basically you need to guide Steve, but the thing is you will not have a uh, move forward Forward, move backwards, move to the left and move to the right. No, you will not have that. I want to make it more difficult on the player and on myself and basically it's gonna be something like move forward and then uh, rotate to the right and then move forward. So it basically it's gonna do move forward, rotate to the right and then move forward. So basically when you do move forward, you're not actually moving forward but you're moving in the direction the entity is facing. So to 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 replicate that, I'm basically gonna detect the uh, uh, how the entity is facing thanks to this arrow, and then when they do move forward, they're just gonna clone this you know block right here. So I rambled a bit on how you know the, the structure works. As you can see, this is the structure for the first level: move forward, move forward, move forward, and do the the destroy. Okay, and as you can see, this is the structure here. But how does it get created? And now I'm gonna show you. I need to do a backup of the world because I already broke. This one. I'm actually gonna make a system that makes it so you cannot just skip the intro by just, you know, spamming Q. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what exactly what happens when I do the things. So first of all, do you see this stone block right here? This actually detects where the uh, ghost Steve is. Because here you, you only see an armor stand, the Steve, okay? But actually there are two armor stands. If I go in Game 3, you're gonna see eh, I need to go in Game 2 for a sec because he has to detect that in Game 2. Oh, okay, so as you can see, this is the ghost Steve. This ghost Steve will always, you know, work. Instead, this one will only work when you press on play. So basically what is happening is that when I press forward, it's gonna add a block here. As you can see, the block that makes me go forward. When I do it again, it's gonna add another block here. Now, if I do destroy, it's gonna add a block a little bit upper. Now, when I do play instead, it's gonna clone all of this down here, so it's gonna work for the Steve. Also, underneath the armor stand, there's always gonna be this stone block. This is done, so, okay, I'm gonna do play, and as you can see, now everything gets cloned, and now the Steve starts moving. Now, I'm actually gonna get the stop once the Steve stops, and to detect when the Steve stops, I'm basically detecting when he's underneath the stone, because the stone is basically the last block uh, the armor stand walks to. So if I do stop, everything gets reset, as you can see, except the stone. Okay, yeah, because I'm not thinking about you, I always forget about that. I think I need to be able to for all of it. Okay, nice, now it works. Because basically there is a system that detects on which uh, level you are. And if you, you know, naturally you have to, okay, now as you can see I'm in level 1 and it detects in which level you are just so, uh, you know, it's gonna do different stuff for different levels because naturally it needs to fill all of the area, not just this area. Now, in this little puzzle, you know, I didn't use actually the go left and uh, move to the right, sorry, the rotate to the left and rotate to the right the commands, so you're not gonna be able to, you know, notice them. But basically what's gonna happen is, is when I do rotate to the right, it's actually gonna add a block uh, like this, I guess, give me a sec, okay, uh, it's gonna add a block, yeah, like this, here, it's gonna add this block right here that is actually rotate to the right. Um, and after that is done, you gonna actually detect that underneath the armor stand there is a rotate to the right, so this arrow will turn to the right, meaning that this will get cloned once I press on forward, meaning that I will just start going to the right once I, 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 I drop forward, but as you can see now it's not happening. I don't know what is happening, I think I broke it. Oh my gosh, what, what is happening right now? Where, where is the Steve going? Okay, we need to reset it. Oh, but we are not on the stone, so we cannot reset it. We can put the stone here. Did you give me the... the no, it didn't give me anything. Well, guys, I think I think we I think we broke it. Uh, yeah, we, we broke it. But anyways, this is it. This is what I've done so far. 
And you know, I hope you liked this little little terraforming. It took me a while to make, but I'm really, you know, I'm really proud of that. Uh, I think I have to do something and add something in this flower area, even if no one will see it because literally the, the start of the map is here. Also, I don't know if I'm gonna keep the box like this or I'm gonna just texture it a bit. But I feel like it's, you know, it gives a little bit of a, a good feeling that you know all of this nature and everything there is just a quartz block. Uh, yeah box and yeah so this is it i'm gonna add more stuff to this map and i'm gonna try to release this map on realms so this is my basically my application for realms i tried to explain the best that i could what was going on with this map i know i'm not that good at explaining stuff but now we are gonna basically blow it up because i don't care anymore about it i'm just kidding i just wanna blow it up because it's just for fun okay we're gonna blow up the map okay uh, we, we actually have to do okay after some hard work we can finally blow up our creation I, don't worry about it guys i have a backup okay i, I, I need to have a backup but i have a backup right I, I should have a backup yeah yeah i, I have a backup 100 percent i have a backup yeah oh well i hope my computer didn't crash or i lost the recording and i have to do everything again oh look at that look at that everything is destroyed look at that. you can see some sponges <laughs> Oh, it keeps on break. It keeps on breaking. That that's that, that's weird. Okay, well, anyways, after all of this destruction, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Leave a like if you liked, and if you wanna see more of these map making videos. And yeah, I'm gonna see you guys later. See ya.